So you have harvested your wheat that you grew and you're going to, you want to know how to get from here to here. This is what the wheat looks like right after it's been harvested. The heads are full. You want the wheat berries inside the little thingies to be sort of crunchy, not uh, doughy before you thresh. This is the technique that we've developed. We put the a few handfuls of wheat into a garbage pail, about half full. We have our trusty weed thresher, which is nothing, none other than a weed whipper. This is a little bit of a string intensive project. But it looks like after only one batch, we've discovered that tilting the barrel and spinning it is useful, so that's a two-person job. We can't record this. This is still not quite good enough for winnowing. So now the next project is the winnowing. And we use a simple window fan. And then we winnow initially handfuls right over the bucket um, just to get rid of the larger pieces of chaff. Um, and then in a few minutes, when that's all sort of cleaned out, we'll switch to the two bowl method. You can see the wheat falling directly into the bucket and the chaff uh, blowing away onto the carb. Winnowing. This is the final winnowing. And you can see how much meat now is falling into the bowl. Go ahead. Pour it right in. So from a half a bucket of wheat, we got about a pound and a quarter of berries berries, wheat berries. Last year we got 23 pounds out of about 880 square foot patch of uh, wheat. We're not exactly sure what we'll get this year because we had a bigger weed problem. Today we got 17 and a half pounds of, uh, this was winter wheat. It was planted in mid-October mid last year and we harvested it on 4th of July this year. We live in Connecticut and even though we had a horrible weed problem, we have enough flour, or enough wheat now for about 15 loaves of bread, we figure.